Hi guys, so I've got my February favourites video for you today. I haven't got too many bits, but here we go. Now the first thing that I have been wearing a lot this month, and I've probably been wearing it in a lot of my videos, and I am wearing it in this video today, is the Urban Decay Naked Palette. And I was actually given this by somebody, so I... I'm very, very happy that I have it. I actually have the Urban Decay 2 palette and, it, you know, I used to wear it all the time. And I still really like it, but my Stila palette kind of overtook it. But I am in love with this one. And I think it's just because the colours are a bit more sort of sophisticated than the second one. I am really in love with Sin, which is kind of a really pale pinky champagne colour which I'm wearing today and I also really love Toasted which is a really kind of deeper sort of pinky really light bronzy browny colour. I hope you are loving my descriptions. I just think it's a really nice palette and it's really added to my collection and they are quite pricey to be honest but I don't think you would ever sort of hit pan on them unless you were going crazy and I oh know I just think that's quite a nice little palette. I actually prefer this velvet kind of coating than the tinny one which is the second one. I think this is a bit lighter and I don't know it just feels a bit sort of I don't know what do you think? But I quite like the gold on it. But yeah, I have been loving this a lot this month. And I really think that eyeshadows are really sort of long lasting and all that kind of jazz. I will get this little boring one out of the way, which is this little pot of Vaseline. And I am a big Vaseline user. I used to kind of get the mick taken out of me at school because I always had a Vaseline. And if anybody ever needed any, I would have some. But I always get these in my Christmas stocking and I kind of just put them in drawers and things, these big tubs, but this has been by my bedside and I always use it every night, quite a thick one compared to the tins, and I just think it's really moisturising for those sort of nighttime treats when you really need to kind of give your lips a good moisture overnight, so yeah, I really, really like that. And it's probably like one to two pound, might be a bit more expensive, but yeah, it's probably really cheap somewhere, so look out for that. The next item I actually always seem to forget to put in my favourites videos, so I thought I would actually put it in this one, because I probably did use it a lot last month, and not so much this month, but I do still really enjoy it. And it's actually this Collection 2000 Extreme 24 Hour Felt Tip Liner. And when it comes to eyeliner, I tend to use black eyeshadow, but this was something I was really grabbing, and it is just this sort of felt tip type of thing. And I just like this over sort of a proper liquid liner because I'm quite bad at being precise, and this is just like really quick and easy, you can just like whack it on, and it doesn't kind of matter too bad at how bad you are at makeup. And I think this is two or three pounds, so it's so cheap. And I thought this would dry up, but I've had this quite a while and it hasn't sort of done that. So I actually really think this is good. And it's probably not the most long-lasting of things, but you kind of get what you pay for sometimes. And that is probably true about this. But I really like it for sort of not having to be too precise and a quick and easy sort of thing to grab. The next item is something that I actually asked to borrow from my friend Megan um, because I'm just trying to sort of mix up my makeup a bit more you know I think you get stuck in a rut of things that you wear and I decided to ask if I could borrow this which is the Benefit Sugar Bomb Blusher and it comes like this and it's sort of a four shaded kind of thingy and I have been really liking this it's got a slight shimmer to it um, and this is probably more summery or springy but you know I've been wearing it to just kind of brighten up those days and I think it's a really really pretty colour and I know I just sort of feel like I need to try a few th things out so this was kind of part of that and yeah I really really like it and I'm wearing it at the moment so you can kind of get an idea about that but yeah this has been sort of going on my face quite a few times this month and the next item is also a face item and I got this uh, basically I am not a massive bronzer girl but I sometimes feel like I need to li have a little bit of bronze and I decided to go for this body shop bronzer here which is in 01 which is the lightest shade that they have and when you actually see it like that it doesn't really look like a bronzer it looks more sort of like a powder but that's what I like about it because I'm quite pale when it comes to kind of facial things this is just really subtle but at the same time it really is buildable and it it kind of doesn't look like it would do that much, but when it's actually on your face, I think it does quite a lot. So I am really loving this at the moment. Yeah, I just think it's really pretty. And it's not really orange, so it's not kind of 
your kind of, I don't know, I just don't get on with sort of orangey bronzes, they just don't suit me. So if you're kind of quite pale like me and you want something a bit more subtle, then this might be the way to go. I think this is about £13, but I actually managed to get a £10 voucher online. If I can find that kind of deal, then I'll put it in the link below. And I think it was if you spent £25, you got £10 off. So I think that was pretty good. And I also got something else. So it kind of makes it a bit more worthwhile if you are thinking about buying a few things from Body Shop. Now this next one was a bit of a treat to myself this month. I met Estee from Essie Buttons sort of a month or two ago and I just couldn't get over how good she smelt. Um, if you're watching this Estee, I hope this doesn't sound creepy, but you know, you did smell good. I asked her what she was wearing and she was wearing a Centrix Molecule 1 and it's in this little bottle here and when I sort of saw the price I was a bit like, oh, do I want it? But I just kept going back to it and I thought, why the hell not? And I bought it from Cult Beauty and they do kind of a refill version or they do like an actual box version. Now, you pay £11 for a nice box or you can just get the bottle for like £11 cheaper. So, me kind of liking bargains, I went for the cheaper version. And this smells amazing and it's really lived up to my expectations. So. I'm so glad I got it and I think sort of the concept of this is that it smells different on every person and I think a lot of people it's like you either love it or you hate it but I love it and um, I'm just going to spray it so that I can get an idea of like how to describe it to you. It's quite a, like a deep sort of musky smell but at the same time it's quite sweet and it's quite slightly vanilla -y, a bit musky. Ugh. There's no point in me probably trying to explain how this smells. But if you can try and like smell this somewhere, you have to, and I love it a lot. It's beautiful. Now that was actually the last of my beauty items, but I have two items that I wanted to show you that are non-beauty items, and they're both actually Primark. And um, these are a bit creased, but I thought I'd show you them anyway. And they're these pyjamas I got recently from there. And as you can see, they've got this kind of boat print on them. Um, I love my pyjamas, as you probably know, and I needed some more to kind of add to my collection, as you do. And I went in there, and these were sort of, they just drew my eye, and I thought they were really pretty. And they've got this little cuffed edge, which normally I probably wouldn't go for, but I just love how white they are, and how sort of clean looking they look. And I just wish that I had sort of five pairs of these, just to kind of alternate, because I think they're really pretty. These are probably about £6, so a really good bargain price. Now, the next item has been featured on my channel already, and I think a lot of you really like it, like me. And it is this Primark bag that is pretty damn beautiful for £12. And it has sort of two zips there and a main compartment. And I have been loving this this month. Every time I look at it still, I think, oh, it's so pretty. And I was just kind of going to ask you guys, did you want a what's in my bag video with this bag because I haven't done one of those in a very long time and a few people have asked me if I could do it so if you want me to do that please comment in the box below and like this video and let me know and then I will get that up for you really soon so yes okay so that is me done for today I hope you enjoyed it and please don't forget if you haven't already like the video and subscribe if you haven't already and you think you might have just double check um but yeah thank you so much for watching by the way I've also got a clothes sale on my blog at the moment so I'm selling some sort of Primark things Topshop things I'm only sending to the UK at the moment but if you have an offer or something then maybe I'll consider somewhere else so I'll pop that link in the box below and yeah if you want to see that what's in my bag don't forget to say and I will see you again soon thank you for watching bye and yeah I've kind of not got hi guys I've got my February favourites for you today and I haven't got too many bits but you know there's no point in me just putting a poo in there guys so I've got my February favorite like cardboard and um is it cardboard? Oh, that was long. Cut. Cut.